Hello and welcome to Up the Arsenal. International break is over. Whoa! God, that was diabolical, boring football from England. Thank goodness the Premier League returns this weekend and we can have some proper football back. Hooray! And this weekend is Arsenal versus Brentford. Or I should say it's Brentford versus Arsenal as we are away. Now, we have only played Brentford 18 times in our history. That's it, 18 times. Yeah, not very many at all. We have won seven, drawn five, and lost six. In the Premier League, we have a pretty good record against Brentford. We've only lost once on the 30th of August, 2021. Do you remember that? That was the first game of the season. And that was when we started really, really badly. We lost the first three games in that season. And that is the only time we have lost against Brentford. In the Premier League, that is. Uh, we did draw them uh, back in February at home in the Premier League, which obviously really damaged our title challenge there. And then uh, we won one nil in the League Cup recently in September this season. So we've already played in this season and we won. Now to remind you, we're currently seeing third in the table. We are above Tottenham now by one point. Now this weekend, we could actually go top of the league. We need to win this game because Man City and Liverpool, who are currently above us, uh, Liverpool on the same points, Man City on 28. If that game finishes a draw and we win, then we will actually go top of the league. Will that game finish a draw though? Mm, don't know really, don't know. Now of course our last game was against Burnley. We're coming off of back of a 3-1 win. And of course, Gabriel Jesus is now fit. Well, I hope he's fit. I mean, he played for Brazil. What is this? Play for Brazil... So he should be fit. I mean, you know, Arsenal might turn around and say he's not fit. What is wrong with our medical team? Seriously, all these injuries and stuff, like I keep saying. You know, but yeah, Gabriel Jesus did play for Brazil, so he should be in the starting lineup. Knowing Arteta, knowing our medical team, probably won't be starting the game. Although I'm not sure if Egedia is. Uh, fit because he was injured before the break uh no he came on in the last game so yeah mm. but the lineup is gonna be probably about the same but of course this is a big opportunity for aaron ramsdale because he is starting this game that is guaranteed david raya cannot play this game he won't even be on the bench he is currently on loan from Brentford and with Premier League rules he cannot play this game so Aaron Ramsdale will be in goal and then we're gonna have a back four of who knows Tommy Asu, Saliba, Gabriel, Zinchenko could be Ben White in there who knows anymore who knows midfield is gonna be Rice, Trujillo and Havertz we need to talk about Thomas Partey is he going to be out for the rest of the season, apparently? It is time to say goodbye to Thomas Partey. Enough is enough. He's always injured. And, yeah, we just can't not rely on him anymore. We should have got rid of him in the summer. I was glad he stayed because I did not want to lose Thomas Partey and Jacko in the summer. But it seems like that was the wrong decision to keep him. He's injured yet again. Up front, Saka and Martinelli on the wins. But who's going to be down the middle? Trossard seemed to have worked really well against Burnley. But will he be down the middle? It could be Enketia. It could be Gabriel Jesus. Who knows? Personally, I think Enketia is the wrong decision down the middle. So either Trossard or Jesus down the middle will be the sensible option. But will Arteta go for that? That is the question. 
Of course, another player we're going to be missing in the midfield is Fabio Fieri, who starts his three-match ban after getting a red card in the Burnley game, which was really disappointing to see. I'm not so sure it was a red card, really. I thought it was a fair challenge for the ball, but in this day and age, it probably is a red. So with Fiera and Partey out, our midfield options are very limited. But like I said, Rice and Jorginho and Havas will probably be in the middle. I think that is all we have. Yeah, we don't really have uh, many midfielders other than those three due to injuries and suspensions. A bit of a midfield crisis at the moment. Of course, we do also have Smith Rowe as well. So yeah, he could be needed a big part in the coming games. And of course, I'm hearing that in January, he might be going for a midfielder though. But I hope that's not true. Well, as long as we're going for a striker as well. Like I said, the number one priority in January is a striker. If we're going for a striker and a midfielder, that's fine. But if we're just going to get a midfielder, that is silly. You know, we did waste money on Havards. It was a bad decision. And we, come on, we're going to replace it by buying number one. A striker is what we need, definitely, in January. We are getting closer to the January transfer window, so yeah, let's wait and see what happens in the January transfer window. But I do hope that we go for a striker. We really need a striker. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smash a like on the video. And let me know in the comments what you think the score is going to be. And what you think the lineup should be. It's a big opportunity for Aaron Ramsdale to impress and keep a clean sheet. Because I really don't think that David Raya is an upgrade. And yeah, I think that Aaron Ramsdale could be leaving in January. Like I said, you know, you know, Aaron Ramsdale's dad came out and said he's not impressed with it. Should he have done that? I don't know. But, uh, you know... I'm not impressed with what Arteta did, and that was a mistake. Raya and Havard's buying them in the summer was a big mistake. He has made the goalkeeper position a lot worse. And even Southgate's coming out and saying that Ramsdale can't be involved in the Euros if he's not playing. I mean, that's that's not very fair. You know, he was playing Maguire when he's not playing. He's playing other players when he's not playing. Southgate talks a load of rubbish. If his favourite players are not playing, it's still pick them. Rubbish. But, yeah, so, you know, with that, will Ramsdale leave in January? Be a very big disappointment if he does. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching out the Arsenal. Remember to subscribe and smash a like on the video. And I will see you in the post-match review. See you then. Goodbye.